Hello everybody and welcome back to the Durham Student Channel. Uh, my name's Karina and if you didn't see my most recent video about uh, mental health at university, um, I'm a second year business marketing student and I go to St Mary's College and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about part-time jobs at university. So in my first year I actually came up to Durham um, before I even started at the university to ensure I got a part-time job because I needed to um, basically earn some money alongside my studies to ensure you know I could go out and do all the things I wanted to do. So I got a job in a cafe in town and I worked there the entire year and um, through exams and everything and it was really great and then this year I um, am working two different roles and I'm working with the university as an intern and I'm working as a brand ambassador for Enterprise Rent-A-Car. So personally for me like working alongside my studies is really important and um, I found that it is incredibly beneficial obviously it means that you have the option to you know like support yourself financially and I think it's just a really good break from like from your studies and everything but rather than me just sitting here and telling you that I thought what would be better is if you could see the perspective of a few different students so I managed to get three um, different um, friends who are all students at Mary's in second year doing different subjects who have a wide variety of different roles to talk to you a bit about what they do and their experiences. One of these friends works in the Toasty Bar and worked in the same cafe as me last year. One of them works as a tutor and on the bar at Mary's and one of them works in the Mary's Library and as a brand ambassador. So they'll be able to tell you what all of those different roles are like, what it's like balancing more or less hours because they've done quite a wide variety of like hours between them and how they found it and how you know what they it, their experience with that is like in Durham basically and um, so without further ado let's get straight on into those interviews. What roles have you had alongside your studies? So I've been a student librarian at St Mary's College uh, and I've been a brand ambassador for an organisation called Frontline. I work as a bartender in St Mary's College Bar and as a tutor with the online platform My Tutor. So last year I worked at a cafe in town uh, and this year I'm working or I will be working at the Toasty Bar in college. What did your roles involve? So the bar role involves pretty much what you'd expect from bartending, so setting the bar up, uh, serving people throughout the night, closing it down afterwards. Uh, the tutoring role involves tutoring, for me, biology, chemistry, and maths to GCSE and A-level students and then stuff that will go along with that, so like preparing resources. So last year when I worked at the cafe, I was mainly a waitress, so um, waitressing tables, busing tables, and sometimes helping out with coffees. Uh, and then this year at the Toasty Bar, it'll just be taking orders for toasties and making them and then serving them to people. <laughs> the librarian role involves keeping stock of the library, processing new books, tidying shelves, helping people with sort of requests and stuff like that. The frontline role involves promoting Frontline's brand on campus. So leafleting, careers events, uh, talking to societies, anything like that. And how many hours a week have you worked for and what was your work schedule like? I've been working one hour a week for the library and two to four hours a week flexibly for Frontline. So my schedule has been quite flexible. So if I've been really busy one week, then I don't do as many hours with Frontline. Uh, if I've been not busy, then I kind of put in the extra hours when I can. Great. When I worked at the cafe, I would work two days a week and that could be up to 16 hours because the shifts could be as long as eight hours each. Um, but then through exam season, I requested to work only one day a week, so that was about eight hours a week. This year at the Toasty Bar, it's fewer hours. You request the shifts that you want to work, so I could work anywhere between like two to six hours a week. So on the bar, I typically work one shift a week, so that can be either four or five hours, depending on what night of the week it is. Um, with tutoring, it's really flexible, so I've done anything from one hour up to about five. And at what point in the year did you start your job? So I started my job in, last year I started my job in February because I wanted to like, I basically wanted to, um, in first term last year, I wasn't sure whether or not I'd be able to handle having a job, but by the end of first term I realized that it was something I could manage alongside my studies and that's why I picked it up in second term. 
I started the librarian role shortly into first year. They sent emails out asking if people wanted to do that. Um, and then I started the frontline role at the start of my second year once I had a better idea of my schedule. Both of my jobs have started in first year, uh, the bar in around October time. Tutoring I've been doing since slightly before I came to university. And was your role manageable alongside your studies? Um, at the time last year, it was manageable. I would, if I, the days that I worked, I would plan to go to the library in the evening after my shift. Um, however, the, the reason I have changed jobs this year is because I would prefer to get my work done in the day and then work in the evening um, because I found that I am more productive in the morning and throughout the day and that it was, more it was difficult for me to uh, be working and being at the same level of productivity after I had just worked a long shift. Yeah, I'd say my roles have been really manageable, but I think I should point out that I've only been doing kind of three to four hours a week. So if you're someone that needs to work more than that for whatever reason, then I can't really speak for that, but as just something to kind of professionally develop and earn a bit of spending money, it's been really manageable doing that amount alongside my studies. Uh, yeah, it definitely was, although it's worth noting that I'm doing less tutoring this year to cope with uh, the sort of increased demands of studying in second year. Would you recommend working part-time to other students? Yeah, I definitely recommend it. I think it gives you kind of another purpose outside of your studies and helps you kind of switch off, get out of the uni bubble a little bit and just, just do something else. And it's nice to have something else to focus on as well, um, just other than the academic stuff. Uh, yeah, I definitely would. Um, working in college is actually quite a social experience. You tend to meet lots of new people and see your friends quite a lot while you're at work, which is nice. And it just gives you something else to focus on alongside your degree. Yes, I would definitely recommend working part-time. Um, having a, like some source of income, however small, is worth it to me. It makes me feel better about spending money, especially on like little like things that are not food. So um, it basically uh, gives me more freedom to uh, do things that I want to do. And also, what I would say... <laughs> It's unrelated, but I remember working last year in a building that was like in a job that was not connected to the university. I really appreciated uh, getting out of the university buildings or just being in a space and doing something that was completely unrelated to the university or to my work or my studies. That was really nice and it was um, sort of like a break from what I would do for the rest of the week. It's just like something different, which is about to come. Do you feel like many students at Durham have part-time jobs? Um, I definitely don't think it's the majority, but there are a group of people that do it. Quite a lot of people work in college, uh, in their bar or library or toasty bar or things like that. And it definitely, there are definitely other people that manage it. Yeah, I feel like quite a lot of people do have part-time jobs. I think a lot of people work in college and sort of various things. Uh, other people, if they need to work more hours, work in town and kind of restaurants and stuff like that. And it seems like a lot of people manage it. I think that more students have part-time jobs than I am probably aware of, uh, only because there are so many different kinds of part-time jobs, and you know, it's not that like it's every part every job that a student has, they're going to for like shifts. You know, like people are working jobs like my tutor or things like they can do at home, um, and so you know, you may not be aware that that so many people are working jobs, but it's just because there's such a large variety. And where did you get your job? So I heard about the library job through a newsletter they published at college advertising the role. And I heard about the frontline job just through people I know. So I really recommend kind of looking to people you know, members of your family, friends, uh, for the companies they work with, because a lot of them have brand manager type roles on campus. So the bartending job would have been advertised on the Freshers page, probably also in an email bulletin from college. Um, and then I interviewed with the food and beverages manager. Uh, the tutoring job, I think I just... Uh, heard about possibly online and then interviewed via Skype. At the first job at the cafe in town I actually got because Karina recommended um, the place because <laughs> Karina also works there. The toasty bar job was one that I, well I like toasties so I got a lot of toasties last year and then this year I decided that I wanted to make them <laughs> so yeah that's that's how I got that one. Brilliant thank you. So thank you for watching and I hope you found this useful. Um, for Nula, Ben and Annalise um, have quite a wide variety of different experiences between them. So hopefully you managed to relate to one of them or find some of it useful or see something that you might like to try when you come to university. Um, but I think through this you can see that at Durham there's definitely the opportunity to get a part-time job and quite a wide 
variety of them within that um, and if you have any more questions about what it's like to have a job at uni just comment them below and I'll be able to answer and help you out thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye guys